Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to part 32 and the finale of Emily's Life, which is my look at The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. And it is Harvest Fest, which is the day we're going to end on. And Kenny is looking through all the decorations and putting some up around the house because he wants it to be a special day. And as you can see, we've already tacked that, ticked that off for decorate for everybody because we have a lots of decorations. And so Han Kenny loves the tradition with holiday gnomes from uh, being erratic, give respect and gifts to their friendly gnomes in the hopes of festive rewards. To participate, find gnomes around your lot, click on the gnomes and select appease the gnome. Now they've already moved around on me because they were at the front and now they've moved around to the back. Now, I'm not sure if he's rummaging. Yeah, because I think I did some rummaging. I love rummaging through these things because I love the random decorations that come out. So, but we already have a few of them around because I had done that ahead of time. There's their food. But there is a little lamp that came out, some decorations, some leaves, and a hen. <laughs> I think we, we got two of those, so I sold one. But uh, so he's all done with that. And we, for fun, we'll have him rummage for. Oh, f before he had the option to uh, sabotage them, but I don't see that anymore. That's interesting, maybe because they're all up, so they can't do it, I suppose. But uh, at the beginning, he had that option. So we need someone to make a grand meal. And uh, probably that someone should be either Emily or Dawn. And George is also back, because I thought for the finale, it would be good to have them in the house for the last part. Oh, there we go. We got a fruit bowl, some dark brown candles, and a duck. <laughs> so let me take a look and see if we have anywhere we can put them. And I'm just curious. That's fine a bowl of fruit, and it was 250 simoleons, and it fits there. <laughs> There's our duck. And now there's the duck, and the duck goes up. When we first got that duck, it used to not go up on anything, but they have fixed it so that it now does. And then here's these caress-scented candles. So let's see, do we have somewhere else for that? No, they don't have a night. They don't have any. <laughs> ta <laughs> they don't have any um, night tables for them to put anything on it. They don't go in their room very much, uh, so it's not really. So we'll put it over there on the. Or we could put it here because. The cat, I don't know. Yeah, we can put it there. So I'm going to put it, unless it fits. No, it doesn't fit. Because you can put little things here, but these are too big. So they don't fit there. So there we go. We got our decorations. We've got them set up. And I think, so we need to have a thankful spirit. So I would like to invite some people over for our grand meal. In particular, I'd like to invite our friends over for this last part. Oh, and there were changes. I did mention that Kenny was going to join the gardening career. He is in the bot botanist branch because he's worked a few times and got some, uh, he has got some promotions already. So, although he doesn't get paid very much, we're going to appease the gnome. Which one was this? Let's see. I don't know if it makes a difference what the gnome type is. I did actually have one out already. I don't remember if I. So we've got two that like this. So we're going to appease this gnome and it looks like it's kind of a... We're going to give a toy and see how that goes. And why don't we have Emily try the same thing. And I find it's kind of random whether they like it or not. <laughs> sometimes they like it and then they give you gifts and sometimes they don't like it. And, you know, <laughs> then they light on fire. Not fully, but they look like they're kind of on fire. I think we need to tell, ask the uh, butler. We're going to have her. There's supposed to be the option to be able to send them to bed. Or she's going on her own. So we're fine. She's doing that. So we appeased both of them. Oh, so they're both happy. So now about the green one. <laughs> Wonder what he might like. I can't imagine anybody's going to like fruitcake. So we're not going to give fruitcake to anybody any of them, but it's probably random and they just like whatever. So there's the pie. Are you going to like that? Oh, that was a hit. Oh, that was good. Oh, Cleo actually ran away. <laughs> and she's putting, and, and she's back. She, oh, so some of the pets have changed around. So we got some seasonal spring plants and we got, those look like they might be fall, fall plants. I have all the flowers. I've got them all. 
and there's Patchy. Because we made friends with Patchy. So Patchy, I think Patchy came around in the last part when we, when Daisy was having her, uh, her kitten, who we do still have in the house. That's the only, you know, we have the three original kind of pets that came first. And then we have still Max, who was uh, born in the last part. And he is still a kitten. But Daisy is, for some reason, not doing very well. So let's, so we have satisfied that gnome tradition. Now, Dawn, have you? No, you have to do it yourself. And have you done it? You've, yeah, you have done it. So Dawn, you should do that one. That still hasn't had anything done with. And so why don't you come and find out what's wrong with Daisy? Because I thought she'd been, I think she had to go to litter box. And maybe because we only have one litter box. Oh, look, we got a... Happy gnome, happy home from appeasing the gnome. Who could have known those with pointy hats really like that gift? Kenny is really pleased with his good finding. So now he's got a cozy fire going on. Now if you need to use the litter box, sweetheart, you should go use it on your own. Max isn't using it right now. Are you going to tell us what's wrong? Because sometimes I don't notice and I have to ask more than once. She's hungry. Okay, well, there is food, I'm quite sure, over here. But I'll call you over since you seem not to be coming over on your own very much. A lot of the pets since uh, I don't know if it's seasons or cats and dogs or seasons or the patch. But I know that between one or the other, they don't go eat very well anymore. So Dawn, now you need to, we're going to put that into Kenny's inventory. You need to come over here and we can put that in someone's inventory. <laughs> and there's the straw being left behind by Patchy. We're going to appease the gnome. We're going to give this gnome, we're going to give a toy to this gnome and see how that works. You don't need to do that right now. And then maybe, maybe you can do the honors. You're our chef, currently a chef, and you actually need to make some food. So why don't we come have you, let me check your needs. There, you're a bit hungry, so we're going to have you. So you did that. We're going to cook a grand meal. Poor Max does not like the dishwasher. We're going to cook a... I don't remember what everybody who we're going to ask over what they like. So maybe we'll have a couple things. Maybe we'll have a tofurkey dinner, and then we'll make something else too. We'll see whether that sets for everybody, and if not, then I'll have Emily make something too. So let's see, what is this? That was worth 156. Whatever that drink was, we'll sell it into our inventory. And so he's working on that. Now we need to be thankful spirit. So how did your gnome? Did your gnome like that? Oh, there you go. Look. So why don't we, where are you, Daisy? Did you not go eat? Are you stuck? Hmm. Okay, I'm going to give a minute and see if I can get her down because I think I had seen some reference to cats getting stuck on furniture. We'll end up putting <laughs> the coffee table in the inventory to get her unstuck because of course the debug sheet currently isn't working. She wants to make a sunset valley. Well why don't you do that but why don't we do before we do a sunset valley why don't we have a social event even though it won't be like a gold social event because you can't do that when you have uh the special days going on or I found in another save that I wasn't able to do that when I had special things going on. So she earned money because of course it's a holiday so she made some money. So let's see is that grand meal done or is Dawn still working on it? Looks like he may be still working on it. So let's see how quickly we can get this up. Oh, hopefully, I guess the butler had a little nap and hopefully she's doing better. I do wonder whether I did hire a gardener because for some reason the gardener wasn't coming anymore. I thought I'd had one, but I had to rehire the gardener and I don't know. But I just realized <laughs> on the Wednesday in the Sim game, <laughs> I didn't have a gardener coming. So I called one. So we're going to just have a dinner party because I think that makes the most sense for, you know, Harvest Fest. And the hosts will, of course, be all of us. The three of them, I should say, and the guests are going to be, hmm, all, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look for all of our friends from the asylum. Hopefully I can invite them all, and I will be back as soon as I've got whoever's coming invited. Well, I got everybody. We don't need a caterer, of course, and we're going to have it at our house. So there we go. We've got everybody invited. I wonder where those gnomes have gone. They have left from this location. 
And I did see them elsewhere originally. Is Patchy around still too? And he's still making that grand meal. So why don't we have Lexi make, sorry, Lexi. Why don't we have Emily make a grand meal also, just because we have a lot of people coming. So we need to have a lot of food. So we are going to make a, uh, we'll make a turkey dinner. So we'll have a turkey dinner and a tofurkey dinner, because I think that was tofurkey, right? Yes. And that will makes 12. That's a lot. Can I put any of that over here? on this. So we're going to put that on here and I'm going to swap these garlic noodles for the back. Put this salt and pepper there. I'm actually going to move that here and then put this <laughs> roast chicken that's been sitting there forever <laughs> over to the back. And what is this? Was this your meal that you're going to resume that turkey dinner there, my dear? Hungry that you may, though you may be. And then Dawn, then Kenny, why don't you try talking about these thankful spirits? Why don't we first off just discuss interest, just to give me something to do while I'm looking for those options. I guess we could have made small talk. <laughs> oh, be thankful. There it is. I wonder how many times we'll have to do that. I'm looking now. We're not going to compliment his appearance. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to look for, I thought I saw uh, something about making small talk so we can complain about Harvest Fest. No, we're not going to complain about Harvest Fest. We're going to look for something else more positive. And we could have discussed the birds there, I noticed, as I, <laughs> I went off of it, but then I noticed it. So we're going to do that. And Dawn, is anybody coming or any of our guests coming to our party? Or are we too full up? Is our house too full? For people. We even moved and have a bigger home now. It would be nice if people would actually come. Oh, I think I see someone coming in. I invited the Delgados also. So I'm going to look and see. Be thankful. There we go. And it's a mess here. Oh no, don't be thankful. She's having a shower. Bath. <laughs> She's having a bath. Maybe you can come over here and be thankful with... Uh, oh, we can thank her for coming. <laughs> Thanks for coming to our place <laughs> that we live in. <laughs> oh, and I did invite, uh, is it Karina? But uh, Dawn's girlfriend, I did invite her along too. There is Lexi. And of course, all the clo cold winter clothing was just chosen by the game. <laughs> I haven't gone into anybody's household to change their clothes for the cold weather. It's just what it came with. So why don't you, can you talk while you're cooking? It'd be good if the butler came and cleaned up there because it's kind of a mess. So we're going to go friendly and we're going to be thankful still. And did that tick off for him for completing that? It didn't tick off. Cook a grand meal, start the feast, select call to grand meal to complete. Oh, so you need to call the grand meal. Is everybody here? See, I only did this. Oh my goodness, look at the gnomes are back. And the gnomes are back with lots and lots of <laughs> seeds. I've seen more, I have to say, but still, it's a lot of seeds. I've seen them, so they're like littering the place. There's so many of them. So we're going to call. Hopefully enough people are here. We're not going to sabotage the food. <laughs> I'm going to see what the options. Spicy pepper, stomach meds, or yuck fruit. <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. <laughs> we're going to call the grand meal. And uh, maybe you should call to Grand Meal too. <laughs> you can sabotage it exactly the same way. You're going to call the Grand Meal yourself. And you can't garnish it because it's already excellent. This is excellent also. So we're calling to the Grand Meal. Oh, we can move this because so, I want to put that over there and out of the way. We don't want that in our entrance way. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully, oh, it looks like it's raining out because I saw an umbrella. Oh, that's when I never got them. I never got them an umbrella stand. Oh, well, they don't really need it right now. Right, is that going to tick off? She loves this tradition from being family oriented. How about the others? Does he like it? He just, it, he doesn't love it. He just, it just is. It just is what it is. So can you try? Oh, look, we're having some people. Stop. Oh, well. Oh, we can enjoy company. Oh, look at that. That's nice. And enjoy company. You look like you're dressed to go for a run, Supriya. 
enjoy company. And we can uh, help fix a bad relationship. Oh, they're all, they're slowly coming in. Everybody is. So we're going to go friendly and we're going to try and look for one of these. Be thankful. And we'll talk to Brian and thank him for coming. It's a pretty, I guess we don't have very many places for people to sit. We have a six-seater table. <laughs> That's it. Well, there are, like, lots of couches over there that people can sit on if they really wanted to. They don't need to, like, sit at the kitchen table. They have, like, they don't have, they don't tend to eat and sit down very often. And six is enough for them because they have pets in the house. So they don't really need a lot of places for everybody to sit for them themselves. Oh, look. Adeline is uh, playing a little bit with Clea. Oh, look, there's our their meal is done. So now we still need... Oh, and she loves this tradition, too, from being family-oriented. Does she love... She's, she's kind of indifferent to the holiday gnomes, and she loves decorating. She loves that, too. So we're going to be thankful and get that, get that all done, because I thought Kenny's done it all, but he didn't get the uh, grand meal. Hmm wonder if he just uh, calls people. Like, that doesn't make sense, because why would every adult in the house have to make a dish? That's a lot of food, if you're going <laughs> to have everybody, you know, make food. Because as it is, we have two adults, we have three adults in the house, and we've already made two meals, so it seems a little bit much to have to make, like, three meals. <laughs> and call everybody to three meals, too. Were there any desserts on the grand meal? I can't remember now. I'm just curious now. Go watch something, Butler, so you can get some fun. No, there's just, it's all dinners, no desserts. Just dinners. That's all it is. Now, it's a very, very busy, very busy household right now with everybody coming. And it looks like the Butler must have clean. Somebody clean the counter. That's all that counts, all that matters. So there's that. To Are you full? Do you really need to eat? Oh, you haven't eaten yet. You can eat. I do finally get uncomfortable afterwards from eating. <laughs> I don't like. Oh, Kenny made some yogurt. I guess he was hungry and so he made it, but that didn't count. None of that's counting as the grand meal. So it looks like he has to make something himself. But it is, and he's done his thankful. Dawn needs to be thankful. Oh, there's Katarina. I got the name wrong. It's Katarina is who it is. So we're going to ask about food. And then we are going to, and there's Bella, <laughs> finally. <laughs> Took her a while, but she's here now. Be thankful. And we'll thank for coming to Brian. And we will look for, oh, that's sweet. He just came to, came to stay for this and help out with this uh, Harvest Fest dinner. All right. <laughs> so we have everybody here, and I think Arya is our our evil Sim. He seems to not remember her. <laughs> we'll do a cheerful introduction. <laughs> He's forgotten her. And he doesn't know Adeline very well anymore, or isn't friends. Who knows? I don't know how close friends they were in the first place now that I think about it, because I never controlled any of them when they were in the asylum. I only controlled them when they moved over you know, into other than Emily, they're really the only ones that I controlled. She was the only one I controlled until we did this particular <laughs> Let's Play. So he has got that completed for the being thankful. Kenny, why don't you come over here? Oh, look, uh, Cleo's like got a question mark and is we're going to cook a grand meal. We will cook a grand breakfast for the morning. The morning after the Harvest Fest is what we'll do. I guess that's what you could do if it was like, say, the Winter Fest. You could have like a breakfast in the morning and then have another meal later in the day. Everybody's going. The dinner's over. Okay, he doesn't need to cook because it did actually complete it. So that's good. Now, Emily, did you finish your thankfulness? You did. And Dawn, everybody's done everything. So that's great. And we have some cleaning up to do afterwards. But uh, we're going to have Kenny and Emily hopefully swing together, but I'm going to have them do it individually because I find that uh, sometimes when I've had someone try to like push the other on the swing, I had everybody 
everything froze. <laughs> and I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to give him a minute to get over there. Well, it's been a very busy day, but everybody has gone home. And it's Kenny and Emily and the, do the pets. And Kenny decided to end the day of Harvest Fest and thankfulness with a proposal to Emily. And she's saying yes, because she'd like to start a family. So on that note, <laughs> we're going to end this Let's Play. We managed to get up to four and a half stars on our vet clinic. And it didn't make us money when we were away. I haven't been back. I'm a little bit afraid that the anything may have broken <laughs> with the batch or seasons. And Kenny did manage to complete the uh, animal aspirations. So that was pretty much my goal. I was originally going to have that done with Emily. But it was easier and it made a lot more sense to do with Kenny. Because he wasn't working and he was home and able to make friends with everybody. So now, on that note, they're going to go on to the next episode of their care chapter of their life and hopefully have a family because she really would like to have one. But we are going to leave it here. Thanks very much for joining me in their journey and uh, exploring cats and dogs with me. I really appreciate you watching and hope to see you next time in another Let's Play. Bye! This has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos of challenge, let's plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much.